Hey everybody, welcome to my channel where I talk about traveling the world, personal finance, and things like that. So in this video, I want to talk about how my friend and I, Mark, are going to hike the Machu Picchu Trail. We're going to hike the Sancante Trek, to be specific, and that is a five-day trek. So it's going to be very, very intense. I read online that the Sancante Trek is, I think, one of the most difficult hikes in Peru and I believe in South America as well. So um, one of the reasons why it's so difficult is because you hike through a bunch of different terrains and you're going to experience a bunch of different weather climates. You're going to go from a really high uh, peak in a mountain top and you're going to go all the way down into like humid jungle area. So packing is really difficult considering we can only bring about nine kilograms of stuff and that's including the sleeping bag and the foam mattress that we have to rent so you can only pack like 5.5 kilograms of things and also try to survive camping in a mountain range and a forest and just basically every single climate you can imagine. So Mark and I are hiking with Alpaca Expeditions. They are the best rated by a lot of people, a little more pricey, but they have I think the best food, they have the best care for you. And overall, it's just one of the best experiences you can do for the Sakante trek for Machu Picchu or the Inca trail trek as well. So I wanted to share uh, my packing list, what I'm going to pack. And I think at the end, I'm going to show how that went, basically, if it went well, what items worked or what items I thought I should have brought. But for now, I'm pretty confident that I have, I think, the best packing list I could. So let's check it out. So again, this is a five day, five night trek. We're gonna start from the base camp, hike all the way up a mountain on day one. It's just gonna be about 22 kilometers. And then most of the rest of that after day one is gonna be downhill more or less. So it's gonna be hard. All right, so here's everything I have for the Salcante trek in Peru. So let's start out with the shirts. So most of these are polyester or rayon. It's a recommended to not have cotton. This one's cotton, unfortunately, but it's unavoidable, I guess. So I have three short sleeve uh, rayon shirts, one short sleeve cotton, so that's four in total. Two long sleeve. This is polyester and this is cotton. I have a baseball cap, a beanie for when it gets colder, a swimsuit, five pairs of underwear, Hiking boots by Caravan, so these guys are really good. I've used these for hikes in Japan and Peru, and they're really comfy, really affordable, maybe only like a hundred dollars. Next, I have a headlamp uh, for socks. I have three kind of very thick hiking socks, one thin long sock, a kind of short sock gloves and I think thicker would actually be better but I only have these hiking gloves but I think it should be okay because our hiking guy the guide said the temperatures should range from 5 celsius to like 32 I think so luckily it's not too cold all right next I have ultra heat tech so this is from Uniqlo this is super useful all the time I have a base layer again from Columbia so these are gonna keep me warm when it's really cold and it's cold when it's warm vice versa love these two they're very great as base layers next hiking pants where you can unzip the bottom and turn them into shorts normal sneakers we got the fleece we got the waterproof rain jacket i got from my school in japan <laughs> an extra rain poncho just in case it gets super wet i have a down jacket yeah that's everything for the clothing for the kind of extra things, I have some just waterproof bags, Ziploc bags. Sakante did recommend to bring bags to protect your items against rain because it's going to be super rainy and like every weather you can imagine. Water bottle, 700 milliliter, but they do recommend uh, 1.5 liters minimum. But the guide said this is 700, I think is the smallest that would be acceptable. Sunglasses, two GoPro batteries. GoPro Hero 7 and a Canon EOS uh, Rebel T6. We have a battery pack, 
and for toilet trees, boom, we have a waste bag, insect repellent with 40% DEET because the mosquitoes on Salkante and Machu Picchu are insane. They will eat you alive. Uh, we have sunscreen, uh, SPF 70. I would do 100 actually because it is super freaking sunny there. Tiger balm because you're going to be sore. Your plugs just in case it's loud when you're trying to sleep. Band-aids, dry shampoo, conditioner, tissues for using the toilet, razors, hand sanitizer, and a nail clipper. But if you want to be super minimalist, you could cut out the conditioner and even the shampoo because you only have access to showers two days out of the five. All right, so that's my whole packing list. Of course, I'll also bring my phone and my phone charger. But uh, yeah, this is going to be an experience for sure. <laughs> the tour guide was talking to us and he was saying, yeah, if you want a full mountain experience, then do the Salcante trek because it's intense. Uh, we're going to be camping, I think, two or three days out of the trek. And then two of the days we get a hotel. So first day, tent camping. Second day, we get kind of a hotel type thing. Third day, tent camping. Fourth day, nice hotel where you can get massages and stuff. And then fifth day, Machu Picchu and we return. So let me know what you think. Do you like doing crazy treks like this? Let me know. Do you think I missed any items? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, we'll see ya.